China has introduced new rules again. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kaisa and I make videos about my life in uh, China. However, right now I am in Finland. I thought I'd make a little life update since it's been a while and kind of rewind a little bit couple of months. At the end of January we were still staying in China and we spent the Chinese New Year in my husband's hometown in Zhejiang province. If you want to see a video about that go check it out. I will put a link somewhere here and watch it after this video. We spent the Chinese New Year in China then we went back to Beijing. We stayed in Beijing for about a month so the whole February there. I actually caught a flu when we were in Zhejiang and I was slightly bit scared I, I'd say since Zhejiang is well we didn't know that at that time when we were in Zhejiang but Zhejiang turned out to be like the second most affected province after Hubei where you know the Wuhan and the whole whole coronavirus outbreak started from so Zhejiang got pretty badly affected although the area where we were staying did not get affected like Ambi's hometown is still uh, safe and his dad and his you know all these relatives they're all well and healthy but anyway so I got a caught a flu and we got tested um, and I tested negative so I didn't have coronavirus I'll insert a little clip here about the testing it's becoming way too real now um, we're gonna go and test uh, if everything is all right. I've had like uh, nine days of a bit high temperature and flu. And uh, you know, since it's already nine days, I thought I have to come and check it out. This is called the Beijing Family Hospital. It's a uh, foreign friendly hospital. I mean, they speak English here. And if you need to come to the fever clinic, uh, you should go to the uh, building number one. We're trying to look for it. I got my own room here. So they took me a uh, blood test and x ray, and now I'm just waiting for the results. Everything has been very smooth here, and no panic anywhere or anything. They've been very professional here. Waiting for the results. Um, it's a funny feeling. Um, yeah, feels like time is not moving anywhere. And I've been waiting for such a long time already, although I actually don't know how long I've been here. Let's just hope everything is alright. So after that, I still stayed in Beijing about a month. I worked there normally. Uh, I still went to office as it was not restricted, but we did do some rotation and occasionally worked from home. At the beginning of March, however, we decided to come to Finland. I had a business trip here and Ambi also like wanted to get out of China at that point since he had already stayed at home for about a month. And since he's a professional athlete, uh, it was not very, you know, it was not very good environment for him to stay in Beijing that time. Ambi, no, I want you to go bing do, influence your life. 然后前段时间心情也不太好 when we got to Finland at the beginning of March, Finland was still kind of carefree, I'd say. The outbreak in Europe had not taken place yet, but you know, a couple of weeks later it all started here as well. So now Finland, as of today, I think we have more than 1,000 cases here and they are now going to 
put the sort of southern part of Finland into a lockdown. Um, it's not a full lockdown, but they're gonna, you know, isolate the southern part of Finland from the rest of the Finland as the biggest number of cases is still in the geographically in the southern part of Finland. Anyways, that's a bit sidetracked. So our plans are going back to Beijing now because I have to go back to work and uh, my work is in Beijing, our home is in Beijing, so we gotta go there. However, China has introduced new rules again. So China has been quite active <laughs> in introducing new restrictions. Now China is of course trying to protect their own citizens from any imported cases. How they are gonna do that, they're gonna introduce some restrictions on foreigners entering China. If you are staying now outside of China and you have a visa or a residence permit in China, uh, it will get cancelled. So you cannot actually enter China unless you fall under the list of exceptions. So you can get a new visa issued um, if you have an urgent reason, if you have a diplomatic or a service or a C visa. So those exceptions still apply. So that's one thing. Another thing is that China decided to cut down their international flights. What they just decided yesterday was that they're gonna cancel a big portion of their international flights. If I understood it correctly, it's only one international flight per airline company per week is allowed. I'm not sure if it's one international flight or one flight per particular can country per week. I'm not sure if our flights are still okay or have they been cancelled. We haven't at least received any information about the cancellation yet. So we are hoping that we can get back to China. Then there's another thing, you know, Beijing doesn't allow any international flights to land in Beijing. So they are rerouting all the flights to the nearby provinces. I'm not sure where our flight is supposed to land. They're going to do all the health security checkups there for all the passengers. So they're going to do the coronavirus tests even for all the passengers. And if you have any symptoms or or test positive, I'm, I think you are supposed to stay there and then they're going to take care of, you know, you in that specific area. However, if you test negative, According to the rules, they should take you then back to Beijing with a connecting flight. I don't know how that happens in practice. And in Beijing, you are supposed to quarantine for 14 days. Unfortunately, they don't allow self-quarantine anymore. So what China does now is that you have to go to these um, collective quarantines in hotels. So the government will point a hotel to you where you have to go. What I've heard, you're supposed to stay there in the quarantine alone. So for instance, Zambia and me, we cannot stay in the same room. However, there is a list of exceptions that how you could do your quarantine still at home. So for instance, if you're pregnant, if you have kids, I'm not sure if you have like any other illnesses, you might, you know, you, you can find the list online. So, yeah, wish us luck. So I really hope that they're gonna still have the flight on Sunday and we can get back to Beijing and from the connecting flight wherever it is, I hope we still gonna end up in Beijing. And hopefully we're gonna try to get into the home quarantine and do the quarantine at home for 14 days. So wish us luck, uh, I hope that all of you also stay healthy and safe. I do not recommend traveling for leisure or for, you know, any other reasons, but unless it's, it is necessary. For instance, I, our place of residence is Beijing and my work requires me to travel back to Beijing. So I have to get back there. If you have any other chances to stay wherever you are staying, please stay indoors and do not travel. However, if you are in the same position as me and you have to get back to Beijing, for instance, you're a Chinese citizen abroad and you have to go back to your home country, place of residence, then these are some 
restrictions that you might have to take into account when you're trying to get back to China. So please stay tuned and wish us good luck with our travelings back to Beijing and I hope I can update you soon from Beijing, from our Beijing home. So, 再见, and see you soon, hopefully in our home. Bye!